I've been filming another video and for that video there's certain scenes where I need total darkness. So that got me thinking how can I create a total seal on these windows, something that's cheap, something that's easy, and something preferably that's removable. And it's blackout material. So uh, when you put it up to a window it's going to totally seal off the light. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using some velcro. And yeah, this is just a bit of behind the scenes how I'm getting my room to be totally dark for both sleeping and for filming. Step one, find a room with windows. Step two, measure windows. Make sure you're measuring along the surface where you'll attach the Velcro. Don't try to attach your Velcro behind a sliding window because I've learned it will get stuck. Step three, Take your measurements for each window and draw them out onto your fabric. Step 4. Cut out the fabric for each window. Make sure you leave some extra room on each side. Step 5. Test out your rough cut. Step 6. Make your final cut. I'd recommend leaving an extra inch on each side to prevent light from leaking through. Step 7. Cut your velcro to match your initial measurements. If your surface doesn't have a lot of room for your Velcro and it's not holding a lot of weight, then split it in half. Step 8. Peel off the back of the Velcro and attach it to your window. If you're hanging a large or heavy piece of fabric, you can use industrial strength Velcro. Step 9. Place the other side of your Velcro along the edges of your fabric and examine your handiwork. Step 10. Test your new blind on the window and realize that the Velcro isn't sticking to your fabric. Step 11, staple the Velcro to the fabric, or sew it on if you care about how it looks. Step 12, test it again and realize the Velcro is also not sticking to the window. At this point, you can nail it in or use strong adhesives behind the Velcro. Step 13, black out your room. For someone in a situation like me, this could be an awesome solution. I just needed something quick, cheap, and easy that I can take up and take down. Overall, it does really darken up the room. There are a few light leaks, which for me isn't a huge issue because oftentimes I'll be using backdrops, but if it's a concern to you, then you can probably just cut it a little bit wider than you need to, and that should help with the light. Overall, this project cost me about $40. I spent about $9 on the regular Velcro, $20 on the industrial Velcro, a couple dollars on some white nails, and then $10 on the no more nails, the strips. And then the material was free for me because I already had it laying around. However, if you purchase it yourself, it's typically around $5 per yard. And I think for the result, it's definitely worth it. It would cost me a lot more if I was to go out and buy curtains. If you do this project yourself, make sure that you do secure the Velcro both to the fabric properly and to your window or door or whatever you're securing it to because otherwise it will definitely fall off. I hope this video helped you out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And also make sure you're subscribed so you see the video that I did all of this for. See you later.